Hey people, what's going on? Drake here, bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. In today's episode, we're taking a look at a 100% efficient, compact, future-proof, and resource light dropper elevator. And it's also completely silent, which to me is amazing. And it is completely silent because it doesn't use a uh, redstone clock or anything like that that continues to run. And uh, usually when they have those in the designs, it makes a lot of sound whenever the droppers go off. But the way this one is built, it makes no sound at all. And it's very, very fast. Um, now the one thing is about this that's so cool is that it is future-proof. And I say that because a lot of the dropper elevators um, were fixed with the 1.5 update. Because they use some kind of glitch or some kind of exploit or something like that. Uh, but this one doesn't use any of that. It just uses basic redstone, and so it is future-proof. It will not break in future updates. And I'm building this in 1.6.2, if that is relevant at all. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Um, say you have this hooked up to some kind of system or whatever. You just come down here and deposit your items. Uh, gonna put in four chicken, and just so you know, the chest up here is empty too. And all of the droppers are empty all the way down. So that being said, put in your chicken. System starts working, as you can see the torch is going on and off. And then pretty soon, all of your items will be up here in the chest. Alright, I'll show you how to build it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do before building this system is to figure out whether or not you have an even number of droppers or an odd number of droppers that you will need for whatever you're using this for. Maybe it's linked up to uh, water streams or something like that and the items are being deposited here and then lifted up. Um, whatever the case, you need to figure out whether it'll be even or odd. Because um, if it is even or odd, it will be a slightly different design. Um, this one here happens to be an even number of blocks. So because of that, it is a little bit different. Um, just the wiring down below. It does not change the actual pattern or rotations of the torches, though. So that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and build an odd one, since on this side you see an even one. So uh, you're going to start out first by coming down here, and you're just going to make a little ring in the ground. And uh, what this is is going to actually be your little redstone clock. But the thing is, it's not a redstone clock per se. Um, I wanted to avoid the redstone clocks like most people use because, one, they're really laggy. And so, um, anytime they're running in that, they can tend to lag out a map, especially servers if that's what you're playing on. So, you're just going to go ahead and place your droppers. Um, I'm not sure how many I'm going to place. I want to make sure that it's an odd number. That way you guys get the hang of this. How many is that? That's two... Four, six, eight, nine. Perfect. We'll just go with nine high. So the first thing you want to do is place your droppers, however high you're going to take them. And the next thing you're going to do is take a comparator. And it only requires one comparator for the whole system, too. So it's pretty resource light in terms of how this thing works. Then you're going to place the comparator just like this. Place a block here, a block here, and a block right there. And then in between those blocks, you're just going to place repeaters circling around. And make sure there's no delay on any of the repeaters. And uh, what this system does, it senses whenever an item enters this dropper, um, the comparator picks up on it and will just send a signal around, and it will immediately dispense that item out of the dropper. And um, for some reason in Minecraft, it will not dispense it into this dropper, but rather it will dispense it up into this dropper. I'm not sure about that behavior, but it is a thing in Minecraft. So it's important to note that for this design, um, because the way the torches are placed, it's every other one. And that's because it dispenses them up two instead of to the next one. So that is an important part. Um, since this is going to be an odd number of droppers, you're going to place your torch right here on the side, right after the repeater before it goes into the dropper. Then you're going to place a block on top of the torch, and then place a torch right here. Then place a block on top of that, and then place a torch facing inward on the third dropper of your entire system going up. And then this entire pattern is just going to repeat the entire way up. Uh, just torch on the side, block, torch, block, and then torch. And you're just going to take this all the way up until you reach the top of your system, whether it's even or odd. And then I will also show you, too, how to build the uh, even number one, too, just in case you need to know that. It is a little bit different. Alright, so as you can see here, we reached the top, and the torch met up directly with this dropper. So... Pretty much the system is done now. Um, that's it. It's really that simple. Um, very compact. It's really completely silent. Very efficient. And it works just perfect. Um, really, really happy with the design. So at the top of this, you can place either a chest or a trap chest. 
um, if your dropper system is going to be even numbered, like that one is over there, you will have to put a trap chest on top of the droppers. And it is there for a reason I will explain in a moment. So we'll go ahead and put our chest right there. And then down here I'm just going to place the hopper with a chest, and then we can go ahead and test out the system and make sure it works. So uh, I'll just grab, I'll grab six chickens, just to see. We'll throw them in. The torches are all firing, and as you may note, it is completely silent, and there is no sound. And now all the items should be in the chest. There's your six chickens. Alright, now I'll show you how to build the uh, even number dropper system, just like you see over there. Okay, we back. So the only difference between the two systems, um, whether it be even or whether it be odd, is just a placement of torch and just a block and a trap chest. Um, so down here, whenever you put this torch on the back side of this block, you're just going to take this block out and that torch. And instead, you're just going to place the torch directly on top of the block. And remember, this is if your system is an even-numbered amount of droppers. Um, the other one was for the odd-numbered, so if it's odd-numbered, you're fine, don't worry about it. Uh, but this is for the even-numbered. So, put a torch there. Then you're going to come all the way up to the top. It's going to be another dropper here facing upward, if I can do it, maybe. There we go. And then at the very, very top of your system, you'll notice the torch doesn't line up with it. So you're just going to place a block on top of that torch. And then the thing with this is, whenever you place the block on top of that torch, um, for some reason the last item, whenever it's dispensed up, will just stay inside this dropper, and it won't actually go up into the chest. So say you put in a stack of 64 chickens down there. Um, you will get 63 in the chest. So because of that, we need to put a trap chest on top of the dropper. That way, whenever you open up the chest, it will deposit the last item that is locked in this dropper up into the chest. And the reason we change the torches is because, um, in the other way, as you can see over here, they are only on position. Or actually, what well, that's the, uh, that's the uh, other even number one, what am I thinking? Uh, but they're on the on position, facing inward towards the droppers. And so because of that, the last one here, if it was on, it would be powering this block. And uh, whenever you open the trap chest, it will do nothing and it won't bring that last item up. So we needed to depower these torches facing inward. That when we open the trap chest, it actually acts as a lever, and so it will bring that last item up into the chest. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and try it. Um, I'll just grab, we'll grab eight chickens this time. We'll go ahead and throw them inside. You can see the system work just the same as it always did, but like I said, whenever you open this chest up, there will be seven items instead of eight, but if you pay close attention, the eighth item will be quickly deposited. So that being said, Pay close attention, and there's the eighth one right there. Alrighty, that's the entire tutorial. I really hope you guys liked this. If you did, please remember to drop a like down below. Uh, if you really liked it, press that subscribe button, favorite, share, all that good stuff. Thank you guys, I'll see you next time.